All right, let us do lesson 12. Following the introduction to Booleans and if statements in the previous lesson, students are introduced to a new block called key down. This is the block, which returns a Boolean and can be used in conditional statements to move sprites around the screen. By the end of this lesson, students will have written programs that take keyboard input from the user to control sprites on the screen. Okay, make a prediction, key down. So the key down block is used in this code. The key down block is the first of a new set of blocks that will let us get input from the user. This is the first step, step on our road to actually making games. See if you can predict how the key down block works. Okay, so there's a draw loop. Okay, this draw function. There is a white background. There is text align in the center uh, and there's text size and there is key down space so something's going to happen when we press space and there's a white background i do not know what will what it will say let's see okay so it says false okay so if the key is down I, i'm i'm surprised there's no if statement in here but if the key is down the, uh, the screen shows true but if it's not down it shows false I can't figure out why it is automatically triggered to true and false but that's okay maybe we'll learn in the coming levels Changing sprites. You saw in the last level that key down returns true while you are holding a key down, and false when the key is not pressed down. Okay, so that makes the last level make sense. The input for the key down command is the name of the key you want to check in quotes. Okay, some examples are X, up, and space. So these are the keys on your keyboard that they're referring to. We can use key down as an input to an if statement to change our animations based on key presses. Do this. Run the code and try pressing the P and H keys. Okay, P turns into a pig. H turns into a hippo. Look inside the if statement to see how the code works. Okay, uh, there's a bunch of different if statements. Okay, inside the draw loop. So this first if statement uh, says if we press the H key, a hippo appears. If we press the P key, a pig appears. And if we press the R key, does anything happen? Not yet, so we're gonna have to add some code in there. Add a block inside the third if statement to change the animation to a different animal. Okay, well, let's see what we're working with. We got a hippo, giraffe, pig, rabbit. Let's do rabbit. Okay, what's going on? Okay, there we go. If key down R, we need to get this block. So, sprite set animation. Let's set it to a rabbit. Okay. So, R, rabbit, perfect. P, H. Cool. Challenge. When you use set animation, it keeps the new animation until you change it again. Can you change the code so that the sprite will automatically go back to a giraffe when you're not holding one of the keys down? Hmm. This is tough. I, I think I know that we can add an else, but that's we haven't learned that yet, so I don't want to do that. Hmm. Let's see. How about key went up? If key went up. Hmm. Uh, I guess I might as well show you now. I'm going to say else. You click that plus sign, and an else pops up. So what this is saying is if the key, the H key down, show the hippo, else, and we're going to say show the giraffe. And let's see if that works. I think we're going to have to do it in all three of these if statements, though. So again, you click the plus sign. Oh, you know what? We can copy and paste. Coder's best friend. Copy and paste. Control C. Click in here. Control V. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, then. Oh, wait, no, it, it kind of worked because we can just drag this now. Okay, 
And now plus sign. Hmm. Oh, okay. I pasted this here. All right, let's see if this will work. Okay. Yeah, it's working. Cool. Oh. It's not working. It's only working for the rabbit, it looks like. Because when I press P, it doesn't show the pig. Huh. Okay, well, I couldn't get the challenge for you guys. I hope you can figure it out on your own. Let's go ahead and I'm going to hit minus to delete all those. All those else statements. Okay, and then I'm going to reset, make sure it works. Okay, cool. All right. For the sake of the video, I'm going to keep moving. Okay, moving sprites. You can change your sprite's position based on key presses in the same way you changed its animations. Do this. Add an if statement inside your draw loop. Okay. If the right arrow is pressed, so that's what they're going to want us to do. Control, that is where the if statement is. And let's put it right there. Um, actually, let's put it right here. So if the right arrow is pressed, okay, go to the world uh, drawer, and we're going to say key down. If key down, if the right arrow key has been pressed down, so we're going to change this to right. Uh, add code inside the conditional to move the sprite right if the right arrow is down. Okay, so key here is to read this question. Do you need to change the sprite's X or Y property to make it move right? Remember, this is the X axis, so we're going to want it to move to the right. Sprite.X is how we're going to do that. And we're going to use the counter pattern. Sprite.X equals Sprite.X plus one. We want that to say Sprite.X plus one, so we're going to have to go in here. And I'm going to say plus one. This should work. Okay, now press the right key on your screen. Okay, it can't figure out what sprite is. What is the name of this? Bug. Okay, so we gotta say bug. And now it should work. Yes, look at that. Perfect. I'm pressing the right key on my keyboard and the bug is moving. fish with arrows. The fish are back. Can you make the fish move left only when the left arrow is, key is pressed down? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, do this. Add an if statement to check when the left arrow key is pressed down. Okay, remember, we want to do this inside the draw loop. So let's see. Uh, I think we're going to want to put all of these inside the if statement. I'm pretty sure. Because we don't want these things to move unless the left arrow key is pressed down. So let's add our if statement. Um, and let's... Okay, let's do first if key down. And we want to do left. So let's make it left. And let's highlight this stuff. And cut it with control X. Click in here. Control V. Okay, that didn't work. All right, let's uh, let's cut it again. All right, let's show text so it's more clear. I'm gonna cut all this. Okay. Cut, and you want to paste it in these brackets. So let's put it right there. And let's click Show Blocks. See if it's okay. Everything looks good. Let's see. Run. Press your left key. Yes, it is working. Awesome. Okay, that works. Gears with conditionals. Let's make the gears spin only when the space key is being held down. Do this. Add an if statement. Use key down as input. Okay, let's add an if statement first, and we want it to be inside the draw loop. Uh, I'm going to put it right there. And I think we're doing the same thing. Move the code 
that makes the gears yeah we're doing the same thing we just did in the last level but um, first let's say if the space key is pressed so key down find the space key space all right now we want to copy this stuff or cut it excuse me and paste it inside those brackets Does it look good? Yes, it looks like it's everything's inside the if statement. So now, let me press the space bar, and yes, they are spinning. Awesome. Let's move on. Move in all directions. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Once you've got your sprite moving in one direction by responding to a key down, Getting it to move in all four directions should be more of the same. The basic keyboard control that you are developing here will become the basis for many of the games you make down the road. Do this. The bug sprite you made that responds to the right arrow has been brought to this level. Add the interaction for the other three arrow keys. Okay, so add three if statements, one for each arrow. Okay, so cool. What is a coder's best friend? copy and paste i'm going to copy and paste these and just change uh whatever i need to change to make them work so we want this if statement and we want the opening and closing brackets so we're going to copy it paste it and let's just keep pasting so that's the second one that I just did. Second one, but really the third one. So now we have four if statements. One of them is going to be right. One of them is going to be left. One of them is going to be up. One of them is going to be down. So let's change this to left. Okay. Let's change this to up. And let's change this to down. Okay. So now the arrows will all work. But. We still need to do one thing. So I'm pressing the up key, but it's still going to the right. I'm pressing the down key, and it's still going to the right. I'm pressing the left key, and it's still going to the right. Why? Because we need to change these values so that they correspond to how, what axis it should move on and how it should move. So for left, we can't just have bug x equals bug x plus 1 because that would make it move in a way that increases look look here increases the x value we want to decrease the x value so we want minus one so let's go into show text and for left we're going to do minus one instead all right and now the left key should make it go left it does okay so what's different about making it go up and down well we shouldn't be using bug.x. We should be using bug.y. Okay, so let's go into show text. And here's up, here's down. We're going to change all these to y. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, whoops. Y didn't come in. Okay. So now I have plus one for both of them. Let's see which way plus one makes us go. Uh, okay, plus one makes us go down. So we want to change our up from plus one to minus one because minus one will make it go up. Now let's reset it, run it. Up goes up, down goes down, left goes left, right goes right. Perfect. All right, let's make sure we did everything. It says don't forget to include a comment for each if statement. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can if you want. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, comment is in the drawing drawer. Okay. So it is good practice to put in some comments. Because that makes your code easier to read for uh, regular folks or folks who haven't developed the program. Press left. press up uh, 
Yeah, that's good enough. I just want to show.